Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today I'm going to talk about The Simpsons Movie from 2007. And this is the winner of the Patreon movie review vote. If you would like for me to review a movie of your choice, then click on the link below and pledge, and maybe I'll be reviewing your movie next month. This is a movie I've been asked to do a while and has been in the Patreon uh, review vote and review raffle. I'm not sure if it's by the same person, but I have been asked about this one a lot. Grew up a huge Simpsons fan, and I'm not going to act like The Simpsons didn't have a part in making me who I am and that humor. Um, it was definitely a hugely influential show. I think those first nine, ten seasons, eight, se whatever, are some of the greatest pieces of television ever. And I think at this point, I had sort of, I was still watching it. I still kept up with it, not as religiously it was kind of like oh i'm home on a sunday night i'll watch it and i knew it wasn't as good and so my feelings going into this movie for the first time was never positive and i never understood when people were like aren't you hyped and i'm like not really and i think it's because where the show was when the movie was made now they tried many times many many times to make a simpsons movie this wasn't something that like they just suddenly went all right we'll get our act together finally i mean that is sort of what happened but they tried to do it in the 90s the camp crusty episode i've read some places it's like the camp crusty episode was originally developed to be a movie and others they liked the episode and then we're going to develop it further into a movie which that sounds a little weird but that didn't happen they were going to do a fantasia style movie with the simpsons there's talk of a troy mcclure live action movie when phil hartman was still alive which is sort of not a simpsons movie but a simpsons spin-off movie or something the episode bonfire of the manatees at some point was going to be the movie but then turned into an episode i think there's another one like that and then one where the simpsons become aware that they're on a tv show and it's like their lives is like a truman show-esque thing which i actually think of all of them is probably the most interesting idea of any of these but instead they did this uh, matt Groening actually helped come up with it and helped write it as well as a ton of people i think this is a fine fun movie but i think it's where the show was versus where something was like Beavis and Butthead do America or the Southworth movie, which have also won the Patreon review vote. So you guys seem to like these movie things. The thing with that is The Simpsons were about season 18 at the time. This was between seasons 18 and 19. One of the ideas for The Simpsons movie would be when the show would eventually be canceled or end, which it <laughs> which you probably are aware it, it still isn't, or at least when I made this. I don't know when this thing's ever going to end. But The Simpsons, they thought would end, and then they'd go to movies, and that never happened. So they eventually were like, we need to figure out a way. And in the early 2000s, they started thinking about making an actual movie of The Simpsons. And Beavis and Butthead do America. They seem to find a way to get a movie for Beavis and Butthead to work, but it almost exists within the idea of like kind of a regular thriller, very much so. South Park, it was a crucial point in the show's kind of evolution. And even though the show did have a few seasons at that point, it really kind of changed the kind of trajectory of that show and kind of made it more political and made people take notice of it. And it was a crucial point in that. Now, it's kind of the problem with the Simpsons movie is it has very little to do with the evolution of the show. Now you're probably like, but they did an episode about it. Uh, yeah, I know they did an episode it connects to it, but the, the problem with the movie is The Simpsons creatively and culturally, everything had happened and it was well past that. And I don't think this movie justifies its own existence for the most part. I think it is fun. I think it is funny. I sort of get why people don't mind it. There's certain gags like Bart skateboarding naked. I like that they cover it and then they show it for a little bit. And that, <laughs> I thought that was funny. I like certain elements of it. I never liked the dome plot and I don't think the environmental message, certainly that's a message that becomes more and more um, important. And I'm not saying I'm not against them talking about it, but I didn't feel like what they really did with it. It was more just like the evolution of Homer and Homer going to the furthest extent he ever could. In some ways, there's some elements of that plot I think that are really actually very excellent, particularly the part where Marge makes the video. That really hit me. And it's particularly like analyzing their relationship i think that was maybe the strongest thing in this entire film because it makes you go like why would she stay with him and at a certain point she did have to go it's probably more heartbreaking because of the context of how you know these characters i couldn't find many reviews of people who were completely unaware of the simpsons i could find some and they were like sort of fine with it but you kind of need the show within the context whereas i think the south park movie and the beavis and butthead movie were able to get good critical notices despite people's very limited 
understanding of those shows. I don't think the Simpsons movie exists without that. In fact, it is just sort of a big cash in, you know. I understand they worked very hard on it, but their better creative days were definitely behind it. And it was still funny, like there's still times I laughed at it. It's reflective of the show it was in season 18, which is still like seems like a while ago. There's more between episodes made between when this movie was released and now than there are actual episodes I watch on a regular basis, but whatever. You know, the Homer relationship is really interesting, but like the Bart and Flanders thing, which apparently they openly knew that they were taking from an episode, and Lisa boyfriend thing they'd done before, which it doesn't seem like they're as open about that one, but whatever. I get that it's funny. I get that it's fun. Spider Pig feels a little like forced. It's representative of what the show was at that point, which was, it's not just about the Simpsons, it's about all these other characters and the amount of characters on The Simpsons was like way too many. I think if South Park had made a movie at the point The Simpsons did, which would be about in 2014, 2015, that would be a much different movie than what we got. Unfortunately, The Simpsons didn't make a movie early on in the 90s, which I think would have been amazing. I, it, my experience would probably be, and a lot of kids' experience would have been similar to the actual Itchy and Scratchy the movie episode than The Simpsons movie. I mean, there's elements I do actually really like about this, particularly the Itchy and Scratchy short at the beginning. I like the Tom Hanks did a Simpsons cameo only in the movie. The Green Day thing I sort of don't get and they apparently were cutting people like crazy between Edward Norton and Minnie Driver and the actual Aaron Brockovich which makes sense because they referenced the movie. And it does feel like a movie that like went through tons and tons of rewrites and has maybe like I would actually say I think this has like too many jokes. It's trying to be a little culturally relevant which I think is a problem with later Simpsons. The Simpsons always talked about current culture that's never not that that's unusual but they didn't overwhelm you with current pop culture references references they would have a variety and when I watch the newer Simpsons it just feels like oftentimes I'm getting bombarded with like constant references to current things and that just feels sort of lame. There are like a lot of jokes like when the bar and the church goers switch I thought that was a really smart cultural critique but the evolution of Bart and Homer has been done before all these things have been done before and i know it's like the south park episode and i'm sorry i'm bringing south park up so much where it's like the simpsons did it but they didn't know where to evolve the show and i think when you're looking at these movies from shows they know where there's an evolution to it or they just become like an addition onto it and i think the difference between those two movies which i quite like and quite enjoy and have watched by themselves quite frequently and this movie which it seems animated fans talk about it a lot but no one else really it sort of doesn't work and it doesn't know where to evolve the show it's not like oh remember when they did that it's like there was a dome involved and like albert brooks was back i don't know whatever and albert brooks well, i like that he was back since he did so many voices at the beginning they were talking about bringing back his character hanks Scorpio, which I think would have probably been interesting. And to be honest, I would have enjoyed that rather than like this random person. Like certain things when they had like the pan shot of all the Simpsons characters, the angry mob. And I do think like, it sort of makes sense to have a Simpsons movie be like, everyone's finally sick of Homer shit. Sort of works in an evolutionary perspective, but I don't think they were really, like what are they saying with this movie? I think the one thing that Beavis and Butthead and South Park do, and I'm sorry I'm comparing it, but at the time, I was like, you know, these shows had successful movies that I've seen many, many times. The Simpsons, you were the OG, you were the original, you were the thing that created all of this that we're existing within. It just doesn't feel like they really creatively brought it. I think it's a fine little animated film, and if you enjoy it and laugh at it, that's fine. But I just, I find it to be representative of a season of The Simpsons that I often like go, oh yeah, they kept making those. I don't know if they knew what to do with this movie. I don't think they had a point of this movie other than we have to make a movie. And that's often like certain like what, you know, the X-Files movies and there's certain TV shows that spin into successful franchises like Star Trek and then there's others. And I understand why, you know, they keep talking about make developing a Simpsons movie sequel. If this was a movie and there wasn't a show, I don't think there'd be a sequel because there's not much love here, but there's not much there to attach to necessarily. I mean, Maggie's sort of not even really well utilized. I, I And I felt like all the cutaways to characters, they had to do too many. It just feels like that idea in Hollywood and screenwriting where it's like this is this property's big thing on the big screen so we have to like put all these things in for the fans. I find it to be more annoying as time goes on than anything because as a story it doesn't make a lot of sense and I think the people who understand how to get that to work in a story 
that's really what we want ultimately it's a fine simpsons thing it's probably better than that era usually is but i don't think it gets anywhere close to the classic simpsons maybe like people are like it doesn't claim to be and you shouldn't expect that from it a few times i've seen this movie and this time i often just feel like you know i'm being over hit with jokes because when you have jokes and they're landing and there's like a certain perspective and there's a reason you're using those jokes within the comedy it feels like a genius at play a comedic genius at play and this just feels like let's just hit you with jokes and homer doing wacky things and spider pig and hope some of it hits you and it just felt like a certain amount of insecurity in that fact you know i get that like they finally made a simpsons movie so we all had to see it but i think walking away from it just feels like with the rugrats movies and all the other the movies that came out in this era a lot of them don't really know what to do with these characters they're just kind of forced into being a movie they're not organically made like a movie even the rugrats movie found a way to like have it be involved in the evolution in the show this is just like homer pushed it too far but like if you watch an episode of the simpsons it's not like you can feel the reverberations of the simpsons movie it's sort of like this big thing that happened and we had an episode about it and maybe there's some references later but that was sort of like the whole thing so i don't really love the simpsons movie i sort of like the opening where homer's laughing at you for paying for something you can see for free that's kind of funny in a super dicky way from a bunch of millionaires who are literally doing that to you probably enough good elements that makes this fairly enjoyable but the whole reason it exists just frankly it doesn't do a good enough of a job at conning me it just mentions it's con it doesn't make you go oh yeah it just feels like a bigger simpsons big adventure and i wish it had done something more i wish this had happened a long time before also al Jean didn't do the music and that has always annoyed me the score to this movie it's like i've always hated that and i will always hate that you should have gotten al Jean. you should have given them time to do it he's al Jean. he made the simpsons score the simpsons score has always been great the fact that they fired him on recent ep seasons of the simpsons is something that i absolutely hate and don't really watch them anymore the newer ones because of that but especially like in this movie like you have a simpsons movie this is your big moment and you take out one of the core members of what made that show it just kind of shows you the corporate difference of the show is like they needed to make this they didn't need to make it right and i wish they had waited for al Jean and given him the time to do it i think that's really unfortunate because he was still working on episodes even up until recently but al Jean is an absolute genius and not having him in this movie it just always feels off the music doesn't feel right howard shore doesn't do a good job it just feels like classic overscoring of a hollywood movie i'm sorry i'm not a big simpsons the movie fan I kind of never really got as into it. Wasn't even thinking of seeing it in theaters when it came out, but a group of people were seeing it and I did see it, but I was never like, it just kind of felt like a thing culturally we all went to, but I don't think it's something we all culturally treasured, even though we treasure the property that brought it forth. And then when you look at the movie, you just sit there and go, oh, I mean, this happened, but did it do anything other than that? Did it prove to us? Did it mean anything to us? And other than the Homer Marge arc, um, which I think was actually very well done. I think the majority, the whole, the, the whole of it, I mean, and there are various other good parts of it, but the whole of this movie is just really not there because it's not all, it's it, the whole of this movie is just not really there. It's just kind of um, a lot of pieces that are interesting and put together. It's just, you know, a not very funny, a not very funny, not really great, uh, environmental message played through with a big you know big kind of blockbuster big important cinematic kind of movie message it's like kind of everything that's wrong about these sort of movies but with enough talent and everything behind it to get enough good moments but it's just not enough to really work as an entire movie so if you've seen the simpsons movie and you would like to talk about it then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to this was a winner of the Patreon movie review vote. If you would like for me to review a movie of your choice, and maybe I'll like it more and be nicer, I guess, uh, then click on the link below and pledge, and maybe I'll be reviewing your movie next month. Thank you very much for watching.